Hello, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I would like to share a technique that was requested requested by uh, one of the viewers. And I thank you so very much for viewing and making these requests because it makes it a lot easier for me to focus on what people are interested in. So the request was, how do I have uh, a series of holes drilled through two tubes, one outer, one inner, that are interlocking? As you can see, I've got these tubes that, let's do the cap settings, let's do, let's see, curve settings, show section curves. There we go. So I've got an inner curve uh, or an inner tube and an outer tube. They fit together like that. There's about a 30 millimeter uh, interlockingness or overlap. And I want um, a bunch of holes that are about 15 millimeters in from this side of the outer tube that go through both inner and outer tubes. I want 10 of them. So here is a very nice way that I've, I've come up with to do this. There's more than one way. And uh, that is make the outer tube the work part and do, let's say, an offset uh, datum plane. Uh, minus 15 would be good because that'll put us right in the center of this kind of embossment and go to the curve function and do an intersection curve between the outer face and the datum plane. And that way you get a nice little uh, curve that we can put the points on uh, that will define the whole location. So I'm going to uh, take the opportunity and put a point on the end point of this circle. Circles have end points. They usually end and start at three o'clock, so to speak. And so now I have a point. And what I'm going to do next is go to the uh, pattern feature. And NX is uh, so powerful that you can select a point as a feature to pattern, not just uh, solids. I really, I really appreciate that about NX. Um, whoever did the pattern feature command uh, from Siemens is amazing. And thanks for that. And what we're going to do is we're going to pattern it along that intersection curve. So I'll select path, select the path, put in the number that I want. I want 10 of these and I want to do count and span in a span of 360 degrees. I want 10, count and span. Uh, yeah, count and span in the span, 360 degrees, count 10. And it doesn't seem to be doing it. And I wonder why, I'm gonna, maybe if I apply, nope. Dagnabbit, what's going on? What's going on? Cancel. Let's do the, uh, let's do the, let's go with this pattern and edit it. Edit parameters. Spacing values. Let's see. Oh, it's 100%, not 360%. There we go. And say, okay, I can edit that mistake out, but then I wouldn't be being real, would I? So I'm going to leave it in. And um, then I'm going to go to the whole function. And the whole function will be uh, a whole series. So the whole series is a very powerful technique because you can make um, a whole through two things in an assembly. And here's how you do it. You go to whole series. Of course, you have to have one of the um, members of the assembly as the work part and you specify the points. Now I can just drag a box around all the points and as you can see it's making holes and and since this is a whole series it's going to make all those holes on the outside tube and then I can go and say uh, end and select right here it says select body and I could select the inside tube and then it makes the holes on the inside tube of course, the inside tube should probably be threaded holes, so I'm going to say threaded. So I have the M10 thread here. I've got the outer hole as a clearance hole, inner hole is a, is a threaded hole, and simply say OK. You wait for a second or two, and it's making um, all the holes, all the threads, etc., etc. And then you can go back to the, uh, you can make the uh, assembly the work part. And as you can see, it's done a very nice job now of making the uh, clearance holes and the threaded holes. As a matter of fact, if I show you that I can hide the outer tube, you can see that the inner tube 
has the holes is it holes in it now since this is a whole series uh, the actual feature the whole feature if I open up the outer tube by itself you can see in the feature tree that there is a whole series feature and then if you go to the inner tube let's get back to that and let's go to the inner tube let's make it work open and work open in window uh, you can see that there's the threads I'm just going to go to the uh, render uh, static wireframe and so you can see that it is indeed threaded the holes are chamfered and if you take a look at the model tree or the model history you can see that those linked threaded hole features are there in the um, actual uh, actual component part that's a really nice way of doing it um, if you don't want to use the whole series you could probably uh, create a patterned set of cylinders and you could probably use assembly uh, interface that's another way to do this um, I don't know why you would want to avoid the whole series I think it's pretty awesome but if you did want to avoid the whole series you could do it with a the uh, interface and that would be a very nice way to do it too okay that said uh, thank you so much for your viewership I really appreciate it please subscribe uh, to this video and like and um, I will try to uh, do requests like this because this particular exercise was certainly a request by one of the users and like, like I said thank you very much for that and hopefully you'll have a wonderful day and use this technique to your great advantage thank you very much Steve Samuel here from Design Visionaries and please check out our website and have a great day <laughs>